Hi. All right. So this is Damon Nolan, and I have just spent, I don't know, about a good hour or so, uh, maybe even longer than that, here on Ustream. And I wanted to give you my first impression of what it has been like doing live video um, here on Ustream. And uh, real quickly, I have been uh, kind of going back and forth between live stream, Ustream, and Justin TV. And um, I took, I'm going to even say a little longer than, almost maybe closer to two hours, um, testing out the user uh, Ustream.tv, which is really kind of a neat uh, thing here. And I'm actually looking right now. I have been able to, to broadcast without recording, but broadcast um, the video. And um, I've had a number of people come on and we've had discussions and they're sort of going back and forth and testing it and whatnot. And there are a lot of really cool features with this. Um, and I'm looking at it now, actually. Um, one of the things I, I like is the fact that I can invite other people on. If you have a camera, I'll say a webcam or even just audio, I can actually invite you on and you can be a part of the show. Um, there was some um, delays. Um, and it's kind of similar to what happens in the chat room. There's like a nine second, nine to ten second delay in the chat room from from the time that um, I, I guess the chat room is live, but from the time that I actually see it and then respond, it takes about nine seconds for the viewer to um, you know acknowledge the fact that I said something. So um, I mean, knowing that, and I'm I'm totally okay with that. Um, but I think that when we're talking with video, I think there has been some delays between when they hear me say something and then they say something and then they respond back. And I think that was probably my only real issue is that there's sometimes a very uncomfortable delay where either I am talking, saying something, and then having to wait nine seconds for them to see it or hear it and then respond which takes another nine seconds on their end before I hear it so that probably was one um, I can bring in video and audio from um, YouTube although I haven't been able to get YouTube's videos to work um, I did get um, an open viewer invite where I can invite someone to become a co-host and then um, I can see them and put them really their picture wherever I want on the screen so that was really cool um, Another cool feature that I like is the fact that I can put words on the screen, um, which I have up here now. I guess it's right here. You can see I put uh, my uh, blog website, www.damonnolan.com. So that was cool. Um, and I can control things like when the audio goes out, when the video goes out. Um, I can control the quality. So a lot of this is really pretty cool. Um, it also has there is a relationship between Twitter um, and Facebook so I can actually post a tweet and a Facebook status update from right here and what's cool is it when it sends out the message it also includes the um, the URL so if you wanted to get people to join it's a pretty good way to do that so um, overall I was actually pretty pretty pleased with this um, there was more here than I initially saw there is a download um, I guess it's called Ustream Producer that I really didn't get a chance to work with. Um, it didn't seem to work for me. Said so it kept stopping and talking about um, you know ports not being open. So what I'm using here is just the broadcast button right smack dab on the page. Um, something else I like too um, is the fact because I can broadcast for hours. I guess um, thinking about what. Um, what Dan Brown had recently done. He did 25, 24 hours of just straight video. And um, then if I wanted to record something, I could, which is what I'm doing now. I'm just recording from here. I can stop it at any time. Now, of course, what I want to see is can I record this and then download it and put it on YouTube? Let's just say I was trying to do that. Um, there is no, I don't see a way here with this tool um, on Ustream to do a screen capture, which uh, I think would be kind of cool to do um, considering maybe I want to show my screen but I guess if I really want to do that if I'm going to show my screen I guess I can go over to live stream and do it that way because they have a really cool you know screen capture tool which is right there and I really like that um, 
maybe when I go try Justin TV, um, which I may try sometime soon, um, I can try their screen capture and see what that looks like. But so far, I actually have to admit, you know, there's no real huge advertisement except for in the beginning, whereas Livestream has a, a, an advertisement every 15 minutes. The quality seems to be pretty decent considering, um, you know, um, I mean, I'm here looking at it. It looks pretty, pretty cool. Um, I actually kind of like it. So um, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of impressed by what Ustream has provided. I haven't seen any real... Um, issues with people connecting. I've had a couple people who were on um, um, uh, what cable um, networks um, so I've been pretty pleased with it. Um, there are a few quirks but for what we're doing, you're talking about live stream and then being able to record and stop recording whenever I feel like it, it's not too shabby. So again I may try um, uh, Justin TV soon just to kind of see what that what that's like um, and then We'll kind of go from there, but I think right now, when it comes to live, you know, streaming, real live streaming, um, video and audio, <sighs> I'm gonna have to go with, with this one right now. From what I've seen between live stream and UStream, it's kind of good. I really kind of like it. So um, that's gonna do it for me for now. Um, maybe I'll do some more, but uh, this was just to kind of test out the whole recording feature can I get this on YouTube that's a question I'm gonna have right now so we'll try this and uh, I guess we'll figure that out real soon so I'm gonna stop it now and if you see it on YouTube then you know it worked and if you don't if you only see it here on Ustream then it probably it probably didn't work so we'll uh, take a look and see what happens see ya